Dinner will be ready in five. I'm not hungry, thanks. So what are you going to do now? Go home. What else can I do? Stay with us for a few days. It will do you good. I won't want it truly. But you wouldn't. In fact, I'd like you to stay. Thanks, honestly, but all I'm doing is fixing my brother's paperwork, getting on a plane, getting on with my life. There's a whole world out there. Outside of your head, you know? As you wish. If you need anything, let me know. We're going to have dinner. Here you have it. You'll let me know what needs to be thrown out and what you'll take. Your brother was good people. What happened to him is a shame. It truly is. What did he die of, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know. The doctors can't seem to decide. I heard something about a degenerative disease. So it seems. Uh, I don't know to tell the truth. Truth be told, he started to get worse with her arrival. Who? Her. The girl that lived with him. Her name is Laura. A very strange girl. I can still feel her presence in the air. Where is she now? The girl? Yes, she might know something about my brother. She's in the hospital. She's in a coma. She jumped out the window the same day your brother died. She came in three days ago with a head injury and several contusions. It seems the trees broke her fall. Will she be all right? It's hard to say. She could stay like this for 10 days, 10 months, 10 years, maybe for the rest of her life. From what we can tell, you're her only kin. Look, I'm only her brother-in-law. Well, her mother is still alive, but it seems she has been committed to a psychiatric hospital. Asylum? Yes. We didn't have anyone to call.
Here we are. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're Oliver Price, right? Yes. I've read your book three times and I think it's awesome. Thank you. Would you mind signing it, please? I also want to be a writer and your book really touched me. Sure. What's your name? Laura. I love the way the protagonist creates its own cage. It's upsetting, yet fascinating. Thank you so much. Wait right there, please. Move your fingers on your right hand. Good. The ones on your left hand. How long have I been here? A couple of weeks. You've been waking up nearly all day. Someone is here to see you. Oliver. I'm David's brother. David. You lived with him, remember? Uh, no. David, that must be you. The image isn't very good. What's my name? Your name is Laura. Don't you remember? I can't remember anything. Try to rest. You receive a good blow. Be all right. Memory loss is not an unusual symptom in this kind of injury. We'll run some tests, but what's important is that she's out of the coma. You know, 
She's been very lucky. She's the only patient in the ICU to have woken in this last two weeks. Everyone else has died. Everyone. Do you remember me? Yes. We met yesterday, right? My name's Oliver. David, my brother, lived with you. I don't remember any of that. But the doctor said he'll come back to you in a few days. And your brother? Passed away. I'm sorry. How did it happen? The doctors don't know for sure. I thought you might know something about it. I'm sorry. I don't remember anything. The tests don't reveal anything abnormal, so this leads us to believe that she should recover without any further complications. Dr. Ramos has told me that you've shown interest in the matter of taking care of her. Is that correct? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, with Dr. Ramos's permission, she can leave tomorrow. But keep an eye on her. If anything unusual happens, call me. Thank you.
used to live here. Do you remember anything? I don't know. sleep in the room that you shared with David. I'll sleep in the studio. I know this must be difficult, but you can trust me. I want to help you. Hello. Good evening. I'm sorry about the time, but I wanted to warn you that... Good evening, miss. This is... No, don't worry. We've met before. Right, miss? a problem with her memory because of the blow. Is she going to stay with you? Yes, just for a while until she recovers. Are you sure? I've already told you she's a very strange girl. You wouldn't want to follow in your brother's footsteps. Listen. Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. She's alone and disorientated, as she had no one to turn to. We're going to go and visit her mother, who's in there. Very well. You must know what you're doing. I only came by to let you know that the water will be cut off tomorrow. At Ten. They're going to inspect the plumbing. I hope it won't inconvenience you. Be very careful. Are you a 
wrote that book. I've seen a few paragraphs highlighted. I didn't mock him. I read a few of them. I like them. Thank you. Can I read it? Sure. See you tomorrow. Good night. Oliver. Helena. What are you doing here? What? What am I doing here? You know I come here after each chemo session. Do you remember Danny? Yes, of course. You don't look well. There's nothing. I'm just tired. Yeah. And what are you doing here? Nothing. Is that her? Yes. She's a child. Are you going to introduce us? Yes, sure. Laura. Uh, this is Helena. She, she's a, a good. She's a good friend. Professor, professor at university. It was my, it was my, my. Helena, your nose. Sit down. Helena, sit down. I'm fine. I'm fine. It, it's nothing. You know I can't stand the sight of blood.
Do you like it? Wow. You look, uh, good. I feel full of energy. So light, I'm exhausted. I don't get it. There's some lunch if you're hungry. No, I'm thirsty. What time did you wake up? At 10. Why didn't you wake me? What did you do all day? Read your book. Did you know that the protagonist is fascinating? By the way, your friend Elena called around 11. I told her you were asleep and she said not to bother you, so... Did she say what she wanted? Mm, no. I don't think she likes me. temperature and you need to go to the hospital. I feel much better now. It's nothing, trust me. The worst was last night. I couldn't sleep at all. I had nightmares, fever, and I was cold. It was horribly cold. Where's Marco? He had a meeting today. He'll be back at nine. Right. And Laura? She's at home. You left her by herself? Well, she insisted. And she trusts her? I mean, she could... Well, you know, again. No, 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 she, she wouldn't. Yeah. What exactly is it you expect to get from her? Well, you're doing for her what you've never done for anyone else before. You don't like her, do you? There's something about her that I don't quite like. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. I don't know. I get the feeling that she's something more than what she appears to be. I couldn't say what.
Your mother has been here for almost 20 years. She's one of our most celebrated cases. What happened to her? Your mother believed that she had been seduced by a dead person. You know, by a spirit. What? Don't worry, that's not true. It's just that your mother never knew who your father was. You know, a spectral memory of someone that, metaphorically speaking, was never there. Why is she in that condition? We can't really know what is inside her head. She's been bedridden for the past three years. And we can't know why. Here she is. Good morning. Morning. What are you doing? I had a very strange dream. I'm trying to remember. A nightmare. Nightmares are not dreams. Who's Lorena? What? Lorena, who is she? Where did you get that name from? She's a character in your book. She's someone I met a very long time ago. She's dead. Why would you say that? 
I don't know. I'm sorry, it's none of my business. It's nothing. It's just that I haven't heard that name spoken aloud in a very long time. Page 40. But for now, I think it's sad and at the same time beautiful. It moves something inside me. I love it. I'd love to lie forever in the pages of this book. Are you looking for something specific? Uh, uh, just research for a book I'm writing. What's it about? Can you tell me? You'll have to wait till the book's finished. Of course. How about this one? That's, uh, that's a good book. Mr. Price, would you be so kind as to sign my book? Who are you? It doesn't matter, because I'm not here. What do you want? It's for you to sign your book. Wake up before it's too late. What? Or she'll be back time and again forever.
you think it's odd your brother became ill as soon as he met her? I saw him, my mind seemed to open. It was just for a moment now, now it's confused, but, but I remember the sensation. Side, smiling Laura, it's not possible. <laughs> He's a very sick boy. But he knew who I was. He knew. In reality, I don't see my father at night. It's my self-consciousness defense mechanism, and it's not doing me any good. But sometimes, it seems like I'm standing right in front of him, and we can talk for hours. But that isolates me from others. And I cause others suffering. It's like a cage that I've built for myself. A place where no one else can enter. 
But if I take the pills, he disappears. And then everything will be all right. He disappears. But the afterglow remains. She seems fine psychologically. But suddenly she manifests complex states difficult to diagnose. Just, we know so little about her. Strange, isn't it? Someone like this can appear out of nowhere. We know so little about her past. Like a ghost. You seem tired. No, there's, there's nothing. I just haven't been sleeping very well. It's possible that her subconscious is manifesting itself in a painful manner, perhaps. She's in denial about your brother's illness. A painful memory she wishes to erase from her mind. Once, for example. The character in your book? I was, um, 12 years old. It was at the house my grandparents hired for the holidays. That's why I decided to write them. Horror stories. <laughs> and what happened? We're thirsty. I woke up about midnight, but I didn't go to the kitchen. I don't know what, but something took me to the other side of the house. It was strange, but I remember not being scared. And there she was. She was the most beautiful thing that I'd... 
seen. Seems strange. I can barely believe it myself when I think about it logically. But who can be sure of anything? The important thing is, and here, there is no doubt the way that moment marks my life. I never told anyone. It's... I mean, it's hard, it's, it's difficult to explain. But I always hope don't consider myself crazy for it. I think that is... It's so much more stimulating knowing that life is made up of things that we just can't explain. Something wicked this way comes. How do you feel? Well, I feel a little, a little sleepy. How did I sleep so long? I don't know. I feel fantastic. I didn't know 
how you played the piano. Yes. Hablas inglés? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you this morning. I spoke to the woman at the library. I believe she's your niece. What do you want? I wanted to talk to your son about what happened the other day. And why do you want to talk to him? There's something I need to know. Maybe he has the answers. No, I'm sorry. No, please, that's not possible. Please. It's really important. Okay. Come in. He won't be able to answer you. He can't talk. I am not sure that he can hear me. It's been like this for three years. This is him before he got sick. He wanted to be an artist, you know? He used to draw very well. Look. something regarding a brain disease. But I know the truth. It was her. Her hair is longer, but I'd recognize her anywhere. That girl. Laura is the name, yes? She took his life. 
he loved her and she took his life. You are with her, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. Believe me, you must get away from her. I warned my son too, and he didn't listen either. She was so beautiful, and he felt so attracted to her. But this girl, she is a monster. You must get away from her, or she will kill you too. She will start taking your life little by little until there's nothing left. Are you listening? She will take your life without you knowing it. You okay? Uh, yes. I'm not sure. You look sick. I'm thinner. Helena, your uh, your friend Danny. He's a hypnotherapist, isn't he? Yes. You want to be hypnotized? I think you're obsessing too much over her. I don't like any of this. It's... It's difficult to explain. It... She's... She's hiding something in her head. And I need to know what. Why? Don't tell me it's for your brother because you know it's not that. There's something... There's something strange inside of her. And I... what? I, I don't... No, I can't. It's... It disconcerts me. She needs help. She could be your daughter. Please, Helena. Of course I'll do it. You know I'd do anything you ask me to. therapist but what for well I suppose there's a few things you'd like to know as much as I do what do you want to know I don't understand look it's not like that beautiful it's nothing bad still I don't know if I like it 
But why? All you're going to do is relax and fall asleep. And when you wake up, you'll remember everything. It's just that I don't know if I want to remember anymore. I did it. What? That I did something to Charlie. I followed you to his house. I don't know what happened to him. Really, I don't know. Laura, I only want what's best for you, what's best for us. Nothing more. Do you think that whatever happened to your brother was my fault? You may start to feel sleepy. You do close your eyes. Good girl. Now I want you to concentrate on the sound of my voice. Listen to the sound of my voice. I'm going to count back from 10, and with each decreasing number, you're gonna feel 10% more relaxed. Falling deeper and deeper into a state of total mental calmness. Do you remember David? Yes. We were together. That's good. Now I want you to focus on David, okay? Can you see David? What's David doing? Nothing. He's sick. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He feels dizzy, weak. There isn't much life in him. How long has David felt this way? Since I started going with him, Now I want you to move forward. Forward to the last day you remember with David. David is very sick. I want to call a doctor. What's wrong with David? He's stretched out on the sofa. He has a high fever. I don't know what to do.
That night you jumped out of the window. Why did you do it? I didn't jump out the window. You didn't jump? David pushed me. I opened the window. He was hurt. Then he pushed me. Why did he push you? I don't know. But there's someone here who knows. Here? Who knows? My father. Father. Where is he? He's dead. Anna, call an ambulance quickly. It's urgent. Laura? Laura, I'm going to wake you up now on the count of three. On three, you're going to be wide awake and back in the room with me, mind and body. One, two, three, and you're awake. What's wrong? Nothing. the weather like? Sun's out. Good. It'll be a happy day then. How's your new novel? Have you made much progress? second chance in. Do you think death exists? Death? Yeah. Do you think it could be a person? Be careful with her. She 
She's not what she seems. Oliver. How are you? Fine. My love. Hi. How are you? Did you cancel your meeting? Yes. I have to go. <clears throat> Try to rest. Marco, can I talk to you outside? Yes. So, Oliver, what you do you want? really are a piece of shit, aren't you? So, if you didn't love her, why didn't you leave her alone this time? What are you talking about? It's a fucked up lie that you live in. I do not understand, Oliver. I saw you and your little friend earlier. You fucking asshole, you fucking piece of shit. That should be you in there, not her. Well, what do you want me to do? What do I want you to yes. do? Sort of fucking she question is that. loved you. I've never really had her. So what are you talking about? <sighs> and you know, sometimes I think that she just gave up and we lost her way to live. Do you know why? Marco? Marco, is Oliver still there? Tell him not to leave yet. I want to say goodbye.
Don't come any closer, Oliver. Laura, please. What were you doing? Come here. What's wrong? Are you okay? I am. And see who is it well. What? Well, you are you're getting sick. Just like like David and Charlie before David. What's that got to do with us? Everything! What's that got to do with us? You know very well, come on. No, I don't! I don't! You're the one that's doing this to you. None of this makes any sense. You understand? None of it. It doesn't make it. How can anyone? How can anyone be capable of that? You, no, 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 please. You're tired. And you're confused. And that's understandable. Let's go home. Let's just talk this over. Please. Laura, please. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Laura! Laura, wait. Don't worry, she'll pull through. Shut up! Making me shut up won't change a thing. This is your fault. Mine? Your stupid, fucked up ideas. The line which separates the living from the dead is sometimes very thin. Which side we're on is only your own decision. How are you feeling?
music. Nothing. No, please. I'm thinking that I'm a monster. Thank you. 